There are now six infected healthcare workers linked to this latest outbreak in Western Sydney. One worked at Concord Hospital ED between 7am and 7pm on September 1 while potentially infectious. Another two healthcare staff worked at Liverpool Hospital ED on September 2nd, 3rd and 4th. A person visiting a patient in the Concord ED also returned a positive test. 100 hospital workers are now in isolation awaiting test results. Considering doctors and staff are wearing personal protective equipment while on those shifts, New South Wales Health are trying to figure out how it spread. One theory is fomite transmission, where the virus spreads through contact with contaminated surfaces. All non-urgent surgeries have been suspended until Friday. Doctors and nurses from other hospitals may need to be redeployed to cover the shortfall. The fact that uh, we've had a, a very small number of health staff who have uh, also fallen uh, victim to COVID is not unexpected. Um, we've taken very precautionary steps as we have in New South Wales right through this pandemic. New South Wales has recorded nine new cases, including a boarding student at King Koppel Rose Bay School. All boarders are now self-isolating for two weeks. Another case is a household contact linked to the CBD cluster, which has grown to 66. Kenny Heatley, Sky News.